All right, the formation of a new partnership, a, a partner with a familiar name. But Danny, why the desire to make this happen and make it happen now? We've been working on this for over a year. Uh, really excited to work with Adam Wright and his team, new leadership at Pilot. They've been a staple in this community for a long time and been a longtime partner uh, of Tennessee Athletics. But as we look to the future in the next 100 years in Neyland Stadium, this partnership allows us to reinvest in our fan experience and do some really special things. Fans out there who might be worried, the name is not changing, is it? It is not. <laughs> Neyland Stadium is not changing. Shields Watkins Field is not changing. It is preserved by Pilot. Uh, and uh, uh, th that sounds like a mouthful. <laughs> we will still call it Neyland Stadium. Uh, th there's no intention that, uh, that we're going to say that whole tagline every time. But uh, they understand the legacy and the history uh, associated with this building and want to help us uh, uh, march forward. Danny, you touched on it, but how will this benefit the university and more specifically the athletic department? Like all of our corporate partnerships, there's a financial investment that allows us to continue to build, work towards building the best athletic department in the country. Uh, we feel like and, and, and we take a lot of pride in the value we can give our corporate partners. We have a ton of visibility, not only locally in our stadium and, and arena uh, and, and some of the things we can do here in Knoxville, but a, a national breadth uh, with, with, with the Tennessee brand uh, and so many of our games uh, experiencing the type of uh, TV ratings that we experience. And it keeps you, I would imagine, on the competitive edge. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there with athletic departments pumping in money into their programs, their facilities and everything, and this helps you in that realm, doesn't it? Now more than ever. You know, there's a, uh, college athletics nationally is changing right before our eyes. Uh, there's always been a relationship, and you've heard me talk about the, the, the connection between resources and, and competing for championships. That connection is, is uh, much tighter than it's ever been before. Uh, we're, we're working towards building our budget back towards one of the top in the country. Uh, made great strides in the last few years, and uh, corporate partnerships is a big part of that. It's been a whirlwind time for you. A lot of things that people see and a lot of things that people don't see. And all of a sudden, I would imagine a lot of folks were su surprised by this. But as you mentioned, you've been working on this. But it's just been a whirlwind time for you, both on the field. We had a national championship in baseball and all this stuff going on behind the scenes. This is what we do every day in our athletics administration. Our, my job is to hire really good people, let them do their jobs. And uh, then we spend a lot of time trying to find ways to increase our resource base. Uh, which can't happen without providing a world-class fan experience uh, so we can invest back in our programs and give them competitive advantages. Speaking of investing, I would imagine this would be a boost for one something that I know you're very proud of and hope to get off the ground, and that's the new entertainment district. Talk about that and maybe an update on that on how that's developing and progressing. Again, all about the fans. You know, we're, We are not going to take the best fan base in sport for granted, and uh, we want them to have an awesome experience in the stadium, in the arena, uh, and then also pregame, postgame, and that's what the entertainment district is all all about. I think it can also be uh, game changing for our student experience. We have 38,000 students come to this campus every single day. So it'll be great on game day and when we have concerts. It'll also be great on a random Tuesday in, in the middle of the week. I, I think it's going to be a big boon to the campus. And speaking of those fans, Danny, where you have watched during the off season, the construction going on, the renovating of the new of the south end zone area. Talk, give us an update on that and what the fans might experience when they come in to watch the balls play this season. We'll see more beautification, more brick cladding happening inside the bowl. Uh, continued work on the south end zone. It's not done. It will be done for the 25 season. Uh, it'll be a little more functional. The the uh, uh, access points, entryway for the student section uh, and the, and the non-student fans going in on the south side of the stadium. We're t working on separating that. We know that's been a, a little bit of a bottleneck. Uh, that should be a better experience this coming year. Uh, better uh, sound system uh, across the board and all new skyboxes uh, been, have been gutted. Uh, it's been a long time coming for, for, for that part of the stadium as well. I meant to ask you and something else the fans will see is the new signage. Uh, we were looking at the powered by pilot and they'll see it in the stadium as well this season, right? No question. We're so proud uh, to align ourselves with the Pilot brand. Uh, and uh, these, these are two institutions, Pilot and, and Tennessee Athletics, that I know mean so much to our Knoxville community. And when both are thriving, good things are happening here. And lastly, I know you're excited about football season getting started here soon. Uh, you're a big fan of the balls and Coach Heupel. Uh, what about these guys as they progress now here towards August 31st? I like to think I'm the number one fan of the balls. <laughs> I'm living and breathing it every day. There you go. Uh, uh, really uh, so impressed with the job that Josh and his team have done in, in turning around a program that, as we all know, was, was not in the best of, uh, of times. And it's, it's only been three and a half years. I expect that they'll make another really positive step. But as you've heard me say, I, I don't evaluate things in one game or one season. Sure. Uh, it's about what they're doing every single day. And they are, uh, uh, what I see is they're recruiting high quality young men to represent our football program, our university, all of our fans on the national stage. Uh, these kids are committed. Uh, we have a little more depth than we've had before. 
continuing to improve our talent. They're working hard, and uh, I think we'll see continued growth under Josh's leadership. Danny, as always, thanks for your time, and go Vols. Thanks, Rick. Go Vols.